Hi, I'm Roderick Kurakoff, and I'm here to tell my story of this quilt for known and unknown exhibition. This is the third of the quilts that I've shown today. Um, first off, just look at the shape of it. If I'm in front of a live audience, it's usually it's gotten a laugh by this point. Um, just wonderful, irregular, nowhere near squared up, which I just absolutely love. Um, I love printed fabrics, and this is a fabric where the maker was not afraid to use prints next to prints, next to prints, next to prints. Um, Sanbonet Sioux is not, is a favorite of some people and or people hate the pattern of Sanbonet Sioux. Sanbonet Sioux came into the world sometime in the early 1900s, um, popular in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. And, um, but there are many people that don't like it. In 1978, a quilt guild in Lawrence, Kansas made a quilt called The Death of Sunbonnet Sioux. I believe Barbara Brackman was one of the makers and that um, each block was different. 1987, the Quilt Digest did a wonderful three series of books by Jean Ray Lowry, wonderful quilt maker. Um, and her humor, um, just so evident in it. It's The Adventures of Sunbonnet Sue, and one of the little books is Sunbonnet Sue Makes a Quilt. Of course, she makes a Sunbonnet Sue pattern. Um, this has this broken grid in it that I love. Um, this, the little Sunbonnet Sue's are kind of oddly shaped. Um, her sunbonnet looks like a helmet. Um, but it's just, it's just so quirky, so unusual that I just could not have not gotten it. Um, it's quilted with string and it has also a wonderful backing fabric of this penguin print. Um, there's also a couple of wonderful men's in it. But this is just a, I think, a truly remarkable piece of quilt making in American folk art.